Hi there, and welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory. And every Thursday we get together and we draw something. And uh, it's not an art lesson. It's not a demonstration. It is simply an opportunity to opportunity uh, to get together and to spend a bit of time drawing. So thanks. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's your not first time, welcome back. Um, so last week we did some fun lettering. You saw that at the beginning. Uh, we do that every week where we show the work that we did last week. This week we're going to do something completely other. Um, but I am joined for the first time in a while by JJ. JJ is, uh, how are you doing today? Hi, everyone. I, uh, I'm i so happy to be here. Good. Um, yes, you were just in Portland, Oregon. I was. I was experiencing snow, which is a thing we don't see here uh, in Phoenix. And uh, I can't say as I have much missed it since we left New York. <laughs> but it was nice for, for one day. One day. And Portland, Oregon is a place uh, full of like golden old friends, people that I've known for half a lifetime. And uh, I loved eating interesting new foods and shopping without sales tax being involved That's and true. seeing a lot of trees. And uh, while, I, while I was, while, most importantly, while I was in uh, Portland, I went to the grand opening of the new sea store. Ah, but you didn't, <laughs> but you didn't buy any psychedelic mushrooms. The line was too Darn long. Did you know you could just buy The mushrooms? line was long. It's crazy. Yeah, the line was like <clears throat> 300 people deep. So I think some people in uh, that area are going to be having a very Merry Christmas and That's possibly true. also a Happy New Year. Interesting. Well, if you have any mushrooms that you'd like to, uh, I would take them now. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what's going to happen in the future. Um, so yeah, so we went to the uh, mailbox, as we do occasionally. And um, we got a few things. Here's a couple things that we got. Um, we got this card. It said, uh, Danny and JJ and Twiglet, Draw With Me inspired me to create and send out Thanksgiving cards to my friends. Which I love. Really nice. And she wrote a little note in here. Oh, the foodies. Barbara Galiza. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara is a Spark member. Ah, excellent. Well, that explains it. Uh, she also sent this. Does this look familiar? Do you remember this? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, yes, this is uh, Subject a coaster. Subject of, that of we, a draw a with coaster. me from the past. Yeah. It's like uh, on um, A Christmas Carol when the when the coaster from Draw With Me Past shows up to get, remind you of the lessons you learned. It's exactly like that. It's a Christmas <laughs> miracle. And uh, thank you, Barbara. That's so cute. Thank what you, Barbara. Else? We also got um, Irene Hannigan. Irene, so are you here? Irene so often Irene comes. Hannigan. So she sent me this book that she wrote. It's called Write On, How to Make Writing a Pleasurable Pastime. That was very nice. And she said, you've inspired me to make sketching a pleasurable pastime. That's nice, isn't it? It's and so nice. yeah, this is a nice book. And uh, if you need some writing prompts or some writing encouragement, we also got these, which we have to... I have to say, using. I greatly appreciate that she made one, uh, sent yeah. one for me too. Yeah, Thank hand you, bookmarks by Irene, one for me and one for JJ. I'll put it right in my Kindle. <laughs> Danny. There you go. It's true. Well, so um, yeah, that was very nice. We love getting mail. And nobody, we, nobody has sent cookies for a while. The Fran, Fran. Yeah, we have Fran. Are you here? And it is Fran. Christmas time. So. Just keep it in mind. It's true. Um, what else? So this weekend, the final. Uh, Workshop of the year is uh, Fresh Gouache with Jimmy Leslie. That is going to be on Saturday. You just could squeeze in if you have been planning to and forgot about it. You I have to say it. it's remarkable to me how many people email me after the doors close. I know. It's, it's like we've sent you, we've been telling you about this for a month. P don't don't test my last nerve at Christmas time. Trust me. Just don't. sign Please up before don't. tomorrow. The doors close and then you're you're out of luck because I'm not feeling Feeling a little Grinch-like. Feeling a little Grinch-like. I'm not going to be admitting anybody last she minute. Is. So and, much uh, extra work for us, guys. I'm in, like an, I'm in a blast nice. zone. So, yeah. so if anyway. You want, if you want to sign up, go to school.tiny.us slash fresh. 
Uh, Jimmy Leslie is an extraordinary artist who is uh, an oil painter, an acrylic painter, and also a gouache painter. And he brings this sort of painterly effect, painterly approach to gouache. So different from watercolor. If you've never used gouache, it's a great way to start. If you have used gouache, it's a great way to expand your... People are saying they're getting kicked off, and including Barbara, and she missed her coaster. We did show it. I'm sorry, Barbara. I don't know what's going on with Barbara, that. We, we just, aren't kicking people off. We were just, just showing you. FYI. Here it is. Here it is. We are not, we would Here's never kick, only kick people off that uh, write that untoward. It. Yeah, exactly. Right, the people good. you wish to be kicked off get kicked okay, off. Okay, so um, I wanted to mention the podcast because we skipped a week. And this week, um, I had Najib Tarazi on it, who is a filmmaker, a director, makes videos, makes little uh, short films, does all kinds of things. A really Really interesting conversation. So Najib, I came to meet him in a kind of a funny way. He made this incredible video that I think I showed here on Draw With Me, didn't I? No, I I think it was in your Danny's essay. I showed it in my essay, but I think I may have shown it. Anyway, it is uh, the skateboarding video, you might remember. And I first put that into into my email, into my essay, and I didn't credit him. I just put that in and said, this is cool. And then people wrote to me. I have to say that is a... It was infrequent wrong. error, I, I, an oversight. I'm usually gracious. It was, I was, yeah. I was rude. It was rude. Um, so, but we fixed it. We fixed it, and we, um, we to make up for it. Well, not to make up for it. I just wrote to him, and I just said, you know, I love this video. A lot of people have been telling me how much they liked it, and I just want to ask you if it's okay that I use it. And I, and I made actually a video on YouTube in which I used it as well. After I got his we liked permission, it that after much. I got his permission, he used, used it like six ways till Sunday. It's just—it's it's really I, cool. It's, it's very a, inventive. It's a very inventive, but it's also a great metaphor for why making mistakes is an essential part of the creative process. And I just thought it was so uh, powerful that I had to use it. So anyway, I wrote to him, and he said, "Absolutely, of course, use it." And and I told him how I was planning to use it, and he said he loved that idea, and he would love to talk me, to me some more. So we started to chat, and the guy is just so interesting. He went to Harvard, studied physics, and then got hired at Pixar to be basically a physicist at, at Pixar. And then he became fascinated with drawing, and um, he ended up taking all these art lessons at Pixar, can you imagine? And became, you know, really good at drawing and then went off to become a director. And we so we talk all about drawing. We talk about what it was like to work at Pixar, why is a physicist there, all that kind of stuff. So um, if you have any interest in anything I'm talking about, <laughs> go go and, and check out the Art for All podcast. He's on this week. Okay, um, what else? We have... Um, hello? We have the... Uh, our sponsor, Hanamula, is um, going to be giving away some of these watercolor postcards. Do we know how many of them? Yeah, we have three sets here. I'll put it in the three chat. Three sets of these wa- beautiful watercolor they're, they're watercolor paper in the f- form of a postcard with the lines on the back, so you can do that. And you can, um, it comes in this nice little metal box, which is very, very useful and nice, and it keeps them clean and organized. So if you would like to be considered for the drawing of those things, we will um, certainly be glad to do it if you have a U.S. mailing address. Email. Email info at sketchbookschool.com. Email us. Yep. And um, and if you want, by, by the way, there's a post office box. If you want to send us any kind of bribery <laughs> stuff, we're always open to it. The bookmarks. Bri- the, the we have bri- bookmarks the, now. So. Yeah, the bribery might come too late for this week's giveaway. because uh, That's true. Yeah. It's true. But, but, but in I future, mean, we are responsive ones. to bribery. I will Definitely. just, yep. We are corrupt. We are. Um, and, that's fine. and the postcards, you know, if you get them, you could make holiday cards. Lisa Stewart got them. And in fact, um, yeah. Also, this week we're sponsored by Windsor Newton, who is, <laughs> who is giving away our... Um, our, our uh, Cotton and Metallic? Exactly. Watercolor that's right. set? That's the right. coolest that's, thing ever. You took the words out of my mouth, yes. Still He's, kind of a new product. Hasn't yeah, been on the market long. St- I'm still working with them, still figuring them out. But they're very cool, and you can use them as a straight metallic color. You can also mix them with regular watercolors to make them feel metallic. We're going to play with them today. They so look even cooler not on camera. 
Right. So yes. So you'll see them, and you will, uh, if you like them, we are giving away. What is it? One, one set. One set. One set. Yeah. yeah one we're set. giving one set to somebody who writes to us and tells us why. Okay. Cool. Let's, let's do some art. Let's do some art by all means. Let's uh, lubricate the mechanism. And um, so this is JJ and I have been. We talked about this week. What should we draw? And we came up with this idea, which is ornaments. But hold on, okay? So I went and I got a bunch of, um, you know, different things of ornaments, as I do. And, you know, there they are. There's some ornaments, some different kinds of things. Um, yeah, I just, I'm, I find it a little boring. But I'll take you through and show you these, and then I'll explain what I want to do instead. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, there's a stocking, and I'm having some problem getting this going. So... I have a little tech gremlin today, I must say. Yeah, I know. It's true. None of my stuff is really doing what it should be doing. Okay. So, yeah, so these things are... I mean, this, they're nice, but they're not really that interesting to draw, I think. So that's sort of what I was whinging about. And uh, But, you know, I, I'm I'm... Certainly willing to be of the season. I get it. So that was fine. Good Lord, what's going on here? Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to move my keyboard. So yeah, so these kinds of things. And if, if you would like to go in that direction, by all means. I, I like the idea of ornaments. I like the, We just got our Christmas tree. and um, It's been sitting there for two nights. Sans ornaments. It's Sans, true. But it's going to be... have it's not gonna had be, time. It's going to be ornamented... It's um, the most busiest time of the year. JJ Gregory, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah. So, busy so, so anyway, so, busy. yes, if you wanted to do this kind of a thing, to me it was kind of like circles, and I just, eh, I wasn't sure that that's what I wanted to do. But again, feel free to do that if you want. However, oh, comma, here comes Stringy Beef. Um, what I was thinking is I'm going to go for a different direction with reference. So what I what I did is I you've maybe you've been hearing about artificial intelligence and art and you've been saying to yourself I have no idea what that is I'm not interested whatever I'm fascinated by it and I talk about it incessantly virtually nobody else is interested in it in my circle including JJ are you interested in it I mean not at all I so, think you don't realize how much you talk about it Yeah I mean I think it is it is the most amazing thing so and it is also a lot of people find it scary. scary. A lot of people find it scary. Yeah. Like maybe yeah. they're it's going to replace everyone's job. It's and very powerful. The stuff. computers will become S sentient and like wipe out the human race. Right, all that. So, yeah. um, so, given that, so I went to, I have a bunch of AI things that I use, and I went to them and I said, "Help me to uh, come up with a, a, some reference for an ornament of a reindeer with a red nose." This is the first thing that it came up with. As uh, Caroline says, yes, creepy. So then I said, let's let's go some more. Yeah, okay, a little bit more so, <laughs> a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, and then I went to my another one, and I said, and I thought, okay, this is pretty cute. Now imagine this is comp this is not a photograph. This is completely generated out of thin air. I think we have to address a comment in the chat. What Janice is comment, of course. Yeah, but I think it's important to. So Janice. Um, it's it's a very complicated story, and I think to dismiss it as stealing artist work is, I understand it. It's a very complicated issue. We can talk about it sometime, but um, it is uh, it it's is creating, here. It's, it's creating here. opportunity. It's here. It's creating it is, opportunity. And I think we as artists have to acknowledge it in some way, and we have to. And one way I am interested in it is just using it as reference. You know, yeah, yeah, you I'm going to. If, 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 what would if, David Hawk me do? If AI is stealing from <laughs> artists, then artists can steal from AI. I like that. So, yeah, so these are things that it came up with. It's kind of strange. This is like an ornament that looks like it's literally taxidermied deer. Okay? So, um, yeah, I don't really want to argue about AI avatars today. I'm not, I mean, I'll be glad to have a conversation about it. And in fact, we did a whole podcast episode about it. But I thought it was an interesting thing to use as reference, just to just to kind of get your imagination going and thinking. Let's do a drawing of an ornament, a Christmas ornament that we make up, just like the AI did. Make it up as um, of a reindeer 
with a red nose, smiling. How would you do that as an ornament? <laughs> Jen, if, Jenny Lambert joined late in finding these images, frankly terrifying. Yes. Well, hey, uh, you know, you it's know, just another Thursday goosed, morning. Yes, it is. It, life is terrifying. Um, yes, they are terrifying. It is. There's a, there's a, a part of it is what they call the... Um, uncanny valley. The uncanny valley where things are close enough to being real to be creepy. So um, this is... I'm going to get out one of these things and I'm going to work on it. Let's work on it together. Now, you, I'm not saying we draw this, this guy because... It sort of looks like a pear. It's like a, it's like pear, a pear gone wrong, moss. like the pear has sprouted. This pear with moss that grew some <laughs> things. I have no idea how it comes up with this. So when we talk about it stealing from artists, um, you know, I don't know who this was stolen from. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I kind of like this idea of... Um, Do you, you think know. we should take these postcards down to uh, La Siena and pass them out at the... Uh, Assisted living. Why not? Home yeah. where my mother lives. I mean, that would be funny to like bomb the elderly with AI. That might give them nightmares. Well. So yeah, let's draw a reindeer ornament. However you want to, and uh, or are you all still like shaking and recovering <laughs> from the fact? <laughs> I They're probably you. just drawing something else. Let's be honest. All right. Just draw something. Uh, you know, vintage ornaments. Although, I have to say, and this is like a real like uh, Easter egg for people that come on the regular, we once did a Draw With Me episode where we did vintage Valentine's cards. Those were the most terrifying images that have ever been seen on this program. And I don't think AI could ever no. rival. the oh, like, those were they, horrifying, yeah. <laughs> there was so, all right, Twiggy, what do you want, baby? So, all right, so... What do you want? I'm going to make this guy into a little ornament. All right, so there. Uh, but I'm going to watercolor it because I have watercolor paper here. So here I've got my trusty watercolors. And I have this, which is my palette of these Cotmans, you see. So um, Are they shiny? Yeah, look at that. Shiny? Look at that shiny. I mean, all watercolors are shiny before No, but that's just yeah. like that just looks luscious. Yeah. It kind of looked like like uh, like shampoo and conditioner. So, yeah, what uh, what should I do with him? Should I make him green perhaps? Maybe I'll make him green. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know. You know, a little green reindeer. I mean, whatever you do, you've got uh, time to to, to redo. Fix it, to redo. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm making him. I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm I'm being affected already by this AI's choice of that horrible green. Like reindeers are not green, so why am I making him green? Maybe because I know he'll have a red nose, and so therefore I'm thinking Christmas. I don't know. Who knows? I get defensive when people attack AI. I know. As you can the, tell. As you can the, tell. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, look, yeah. we have to make friends with it. I think it's just very it's like complicated. like the train is like pulling into the station. It's not like going to stop. So what are you going to do? You can't, you can't fight it forever. So you got to figure out ways to make friends with it. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know how many successful uses there have been of it commercially, you know, so when you say, oh, it's stealing but artists' But you, you may or may not even know. Well, maybe. I mean, AI can be deceptively realistic. I don't know. All I know is that Danny Gregory <laughs> often wishes to speak about AI first thing in the morning because usually what happens is he wakes up and he's start, you know, into the, like, newspaper, reading, I'm peacefully sleeping, and then in his, to his credit, he usually gets up, he takes Twiggy out, he often walks her, he makes tea, he brings it to me, and then he's like, okay, let, you're awake, let's talk about AI. <laughs> and I'm like, I have... I'm really thinking of having JJ replaced with a bot. What do you guys think? 
just get I could guess get a nice a wife that's programmed to want to do nothing but talk about AI all the time. Was that kind of creepy too? Um, so I now I'm going like to introduce some of this. I'm going to introduce some of this metallics. See how that works out. See, so you can mix it in with the wet on wet, and then when it when it starts to dry, it will be really cool. So I'm thinking maybe I'll give him golden horns. Twigs, she is so so. Please needy. ban that dog. I'm She's tired. So needy. I really love her. Don't even care what she does. All the bad things. All right. Hey, David Pyle, chiming in with very creepy, comma yes. I think we've we've uh, established that it's creepy, but we're establishing also that we're making friends with it. We're here to, to embrace the creep. And are we really troubled by creepy? Is, I mean, as artists, is creepy really a word we should be using? I mean, I do remember when David Hockney made those iPhone, the first iPhone oh, thing. Oh, people went berserk. Man, people were mad. Well, mad earlier, if you may remember, he did, he made fax art. Yeah, made I'm art, too young for that. Art. Fax art. <laughs> a thing. Why well, I, I remember when, yeah. So, and David Hockney's point is, Whenever technology comes out, artists are often the first ones to figure it out. Artists were the first ones to figure out how to use photography. Um, I mean, artists are problem solvers. At the end of the day, that's what being a creative person is about. I think that's true. I think it's also, it's, it is, um, it's a cool new tool, you know? You can just reject it, but that's not very interesting. It's, it's something cool. I mean, I remember when I first started to learn to program computers, you know, in the 80s. It was just a really cool thing. And most people are like, why would you want to do that? And, you know, if you think historically, the introduction of photography yeah, people created impressionism. Stieglitz, people were mad no, as but, heck. No, but people grew, I mean, in the 18. But his gallery, 70s, when the people were like, this is serious art and it's for sale. Yeah. No, people were not. Pleased. All right, so this guy looks a little creepy too. I mean, so I'm definitely I, being inspired. I, I, I people get really mad when I um, diss on your work in progress. So I've yeah. been working. This is going to be my restraining myself to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> this is awful. This is going to be my Christmas card. <laughs> it's just All right. we don't say it's awful. Okay, it's not awful. I'm sorry. I told you. I pre-announced that I was. All right, I'm going to move grumpy. on. Yeah. I'm going to move on because uh, I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm losing the audience. So, what does everybody love at Christmas? Cookies? Pugs. <gasps> oh, yes, we do. So here we have AI pugs. pugs. So I asked the AI, make an ornament with a pug. And this is the first thing that it came up with. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I've seen worse. I mean, they look... What's that little pug like on top of the world? That's, yeah, that's like a the little, northern it's lights like a coming out of the globe, pug butt. It's a little snow globe with a pug on it. And then there's a stained glass window. And then these other two that look kind of like gri Demonic. gorillas carved out of wood or something. Really mean. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully it improved over time. Um, so, yeah. So then I uh, I asked, I took at that one of them and I said, can you do some variations on it? And they kind of got more horrifying. <laughs> so they're like, they're like demons from hell. So if you are worried that AI is going to steal artists' jobs, <laughs> think again. Uh, but yeah, I thought this one is kind of cute. Maybe. Maybe this could be a basis for something. Oh, no. Right? I don't know. His eyes are kind of cute. Oh. It looks a little bit like Twiggy. A little bit. So, yeah. So there's that. And then I went to my other friend and I said, okay, now that I think is really interesting. It, I mean, considering that that's kind of created out of nothing, it totally looks like one of those. Right? I mean, right? it looks... looks like a, like a clown. And yeah. that is... But every, that's the pug. Everyone knows. No one needs to be told the clowns are horrific and terrifying. Yeah. Oof. Um, how about this one? It's kind of like old. I mean, I'm not sure. It looks more like a fat man with a handlebar mustache. I mean, pugs are not colored that way, so I'm not sure what it's... Doing? Have you seen? Can you see that one? Yeah, finally I can what see it, think? and I wish that I had not but, seen it. I, it's but I also kind eyes. of like that it's um, 
that it's sort of old looking. I mean, it looks like something, you know, found in an old trunk. I think it's kind of cool. Let's see. Let's have another look. Look at another one. Yeah, I hope you didn't resolve on that. What about that one? See, I have this screen lag, so every time you ask me what about... Know, but what about this? Like, we, it was like I just, partially shielding I know, my eyes. I know. Okay, that's cute. I'm in, I'm down with this. It looks a bit like Triumph. You know what I like? Its tongue is dog. like an upside-down heart. Oh, beefy. It's like Triumph the comic insult dog. I don't know. I have no idea what that yeah, means. Yeah, well, those of you who do. Okay. Those of you who are part of the contemporary... Of the fax era? The f <laughs> you know, he's, he's a pr current person. Or that one is kind of cute. All right, well, are you, are you going to draw one of these? No, I just thought I would share them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's work with this idea, right? A pug or Christmas ornament. Use this one for inspiration if you want to. Use any one you want to, or just say, you know what? I'm not drawing these. These things are just creepy and stupid, and I'm not doing it. And that is your prerogative, you know. This one has the is the truly accurate look of like wildness when the food plate is That's true. being jingle jangled. That's true. That's true. It's um, it is that demo that look of it's a certifiable insanity. It's the um, oh my gosh! It's another. This is another Easter egg from a long time ago. Uh, draw with me. What's the actor with the pug-like eyes that popped Mar out? Of Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman. Remember, we once drew Marty Feldman. This is a Marty Feldman pug. This is a good way of uh, representing a pug smiling because I've always struggled with that a bit because they have the jowls, but this is pretty good. So it's he's smiling, or she. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of go my own way with that afterwards. You can go your own way. So, sorry, I was just looking at a real life pug. Didn't Inspiration. Really so sleepy. Um, yeah. That's cute, and I'm going to give her the little kind of ornament thing. Fiddle Wheel X asks, I'm going to draw my own ornaments based on my own AI prompts. If I share them, should I post the AI image as well? By all means, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, not that you need to credit AI, because you certainly don't. No, in fact, lie and say that you made it up. So this could be nice. Gold. Perfect. Look at that. Gold watercolor. Perfect for a Christmas pug. Stay gold, puggy boy. Stay gold. I like that. Gold. And then maybe I'll use pewter instead of black. Aww. It's one of the problems when you draw a pug, as I quite often do, is uh, it's it's kind of black on black, which means you have to be careful that all of your expressiveness and your lines don't get washed away. You know, so you draw all the details and then you slather black on top. You know, it's not necessarily going to show what you were intending. It's a bit intensely close. Yeah. Someone in the chat is asking, what is AI? It's artificial intelligence. I think anybody who's even vaguely interested in it or who's heard about it and is repelled by it or something like that, I would urge you to try it. Just try it out and see how you feel about playing with it bef before you ultimately reject it. You know, it's <laughs>
you know, it reminds me of like the days when, when people didn't want an iPhone or people didn't want um, a computer in their house. People didn't want a TV, all that stuff. I still find it very interesting. I think the, pro- I think the problem is that in the last decade or so, things are just moving so fast. You know, you just, I think the human, I mean, we read this fantastic book um, called Sapiens. What's the author's name? Noah, Noah. Oh, it's such a good book. I mean, it was a wildly popular book. It was a bestseller. But he makes the point that the human brain, you know, evolutionarily hasn't adjusted to things to change happening so rapidly. So this is why a lot of us feel a sense of being unmoored. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, challenge involved in processing things that your brain isn't set up to really do. I think that's all true, but also may you live in interesting times, right? True. These are very interesting times. They're tumultuous. It can be challenging, but... We live in an historic period. Yeah. And, you know, you can, you can ignore it. You can, you can, oh, you good. Can Somebody put in the name Sapiens of, by yeah, Yuval Noah, Noah Harari. 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 Yes. Right. Ugh, what a great book. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to let this dry and I'll, all these things I'm going to let dry and then come back to them. But I, can, I don't know if you can see it. You, you'll see when it dries that the metallic is kind of interesting. All right. Somebody, somebody keeps asking about the pen. Oh, it's a it's a brush pen. Pentel brush pen. Um, all right. We're moving on to the next one. So, all right, so this one, JJ, this might be close closer to your heart. Beer. I asked it to make <laughs> a, a, a beer decoration. Then this is its version of a pint of beer. Kind of interesting. I mean, look at that pe- beer with the little trees around it. Sort of interesting that it came up with that. See what else it came up with. Yeah, so that's a close-up. I might draw from that later on. And then here, I asked it to, oh. to make a, pu- a pug and beer, pug and beer um, thing. So, Robai, you're asking how you draw from AI? We're doing it right now. Yeah, jump We're right in. drawing from AI, and it's, it's AI, not IA. I mean, that's like, that pug and beer is like really low res. Yeah, it looks like a print, like a, yeah. Aren't you curious, like, what the heck is on that green bottle next to it? It's like the AI felt the need to put it in context. It's They sort of look like they're made out of, like, clay Putty. or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like what dough. What were those things? Dough. Yes, plate. No, what was Shrinky Dinks? What were sort those of, things? yeah, but also, like, like you, you bake I can, your Christmas ornaments. Yeah, that's it's a little bit like that. And then it has the clear, I mean, this is opaque, but then the glass is of beer is clear, which is kind of interesting. And then this one is kind of repulsive. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to do that. It's too complicated. I think let's just do a beer. So let's just draw a coaster that is a beer, right? We used didn't we used to have a coast? Uh, I mean, a ornament that was a beer. Oh well, this is a sad story. Oh yeah, that's right. That's a yeah. sad story. Tell us the story. It was a little keg of beer. It was it had a keg. These cute little sparkles. I mean, it was some you know the modern day maker of like vintage glass. They they look like vintage glass ornaments, but they're modern. I don't know. It was the cutest little thing. It was a little beer keg, and it was all sparkly. But it was glass. It was glass. That's what I'm saying. It's like. But it was opaque. It didn't. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we finally, after a, a, eighteen months of living inside a house where we never met the neighbors because of the pandemic, we finally met our neighbors and found out one of them uh, has a, a really impressive microbrewery here in Phoenix. So I re-gifted. I took the beer keg off our tree and I, I gave it to the neighbors. And? And then what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Quite literally nothing. <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> they were like, like but that's a- I think they, I think, and this might be a horrible misrepresentation, but not only were they not terribly enthusiastic, but they sort of insinuated they already had <laughs> like, oh yes, everyone gives us beer ornaments. They kind of haven't really talked to us since then. They, uh, they don't. I don't think they like us. We're struggling people. We have no friends here. We're trying to make friends with our neighbors, but 
They're snobs. Is that what it is? No, it's, I think they are. They're busy. We yeah. don't have a kid. We're, you know, and I think yeah. people that have a kid at home, their lives are very structured around their child, and they have to be friends with the child's friends, parents. Maybe we should get a child. Maybe we could get, like, in order to have kids. No, I just friends. want, I only want pugs. I Come only on. want pugs. Well, we did make a friend through our pug. Right? We made a couple friends from our pug. That's true. Yeah, so. pug people are more friendly than kid people. Yeah, that's true. No offense if any of you are, have children um, and, but still want to be our friends. <laughs> just <laughs> write available. to us. Write We're to available. us at post office box. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to be our friends, You know what? Us. I would really like to solicit somebody who wants to not only be your friend, but also wants to talk to you about AI. If you have a robot who would like to be my friend, let me know. I'd like to talk about art and artificial intelligence. I'm your boy. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Because my soon-to-be ex-wife doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> I just want to talk about pugs and beer. True. All right. Let's toss this onto the drying pile and move on. Because we've got a couple of other interesting ones. Ah, oh, this is a great one. This might be the highlight of this show, so uh, check this out. Yes. Does that look familiar? I asked the AI to make my head into an ornament. Oh, no. It's done some combo of the pug. Look at the top right. I know, it has sort of like a... Yeah, it has like a weird vestigial mustache, and yeah, it's disturbing. Uh, isn't, isn't around. <laughs> yeah, kind of interesting. Not. It looks a bit like us. It Seth, doesn't look Seth, like you. It looks like Seth after. I didn't, and honestly, I, I asked it to make a, an ornament out of a bald man with glasses, the head of a bald man with glasses. But can you imagine if you had these hanging <laughs> on your tree? <laughs> no, these are just, I mean, are, I'm going to have a nightmare about this. <laughs> Looks a bit like Seth Godin, too. Um, yeah, so then I went to my other friends. This, I'm, I kind of love this one. I can't see it yet. There's a delay on my... Yes, we know. Yeah, okay. It's boring. Well, the people... We the go. people, what do you think? I just did it, the people. What do you think? Our friends. What do you think about this one that is kind of jolly and... Uh, I don't know. I don't mind this one. Okay, are you going to draw it? Well, I just want to go through. I have a couple more. Let's just do uh, one more and then get be done with this. What do you think? I, I kind of like that one too. And I kind of like this one too. <laughs> Oh, my God. So, yes. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I'm at a loss for words. Yeah. But I think it looks kind of like me. <laughs> I think it does. And I think I'm about to make it look even more like me. So, the assignment here is not to make... Not, I'm not saying make... An ornament of me that would be oh that's too interesting much. somebody made an interest leslie made an interesting point because i don't believe you gave it a photo but no. ai no. assumed you were white how did it know that because i was i don't know did you say caucasian in the i didn't i said a i said a bald man wow ai because well, we know that ai is racist well i mean it's, it's racist because it reflects the because programmers. unfortunately it unfor reflects the program it's not just the programmers it's the internet the internet at large, which is unfortunately has a lot of not great points of view. But anyway, so th the idea here is not to make one of me, but it's to make one of you. Make a selfie ornament. Selfie ornament. So make a selfie, but it's also an ornament. So can you do it in the the style of an ornament, right? So somebody has asked, I meant to recap, what AI program you're using. We should credit a, that. We can't credit the actual. 
I use a couple of different ones. I use Mid Journey. How do you spell that? Mid M I D J O U R N E Y. Is it one word? Mid Journey. Yes, it's one word. And I use um, Dolly. Oh, I knew that one. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely giving Humpty Dumpty vibes. But people have often compared me to Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I'm waiting for my big fall. Maybe it'll come about because of this. So. Oh, I thought Dolly was like D-A-L-I. I see what they did there. So it's like Wally, but it's Dolly. Correct. So it's D A L L dash E? Yes. And it's actually Dolly too. What? A lot of people knew that. I'm 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 proud of this audience. Smart, yeah. smart peeps. Not, Not afraid of AI. Not afraid. That's the way I like you all. Cromer like breezing in with Dolly too. He knew it. He knew it before you said it. You mean because he's like actually Alive. Hey, Cromer, would you be willing to speak to Danny first thing in the morning about AI to get that out of the way for me? Yeah, to Cromer. give me a more peaceful yeah. Thank you, Cromer. waking up experience? And Cromer also uh, will talk about jazz. My gosh, see? Cromer, I should have married you instead of this woman. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh my gosh, there's a hater. Uh -oh. We got a hater. What's going on? She hates me. Oh, hates you? Mm -hmm. Oh. It happens every time. Yeah. A lot of people hate both of us, so maybe that's why we have no friends. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm glad that she has the uh, integrity to tell you to your face that you are not worthy of her love. That's true. That's bold. It's true. It's bold. I mean, how do we feel about her? I have no, you don't know her. But I, I mean, I think she's uh, only working with the information that she's been given from this program. That's true. She uh, it has come away with the belief that I hate children. Oh, no. <clears throat> we don't hate children. In fact, we have a son. Remember him? <laughs> he was just here last week. Yeah. He's getting ready to go to Mexico on a like a one month camping trip. They are living their best life. Yeah. Those they guys, have the, those guys know how to do the, it. Like totally radical Nissan van that is custom built by their own handiwork with all the accoutrements you need for good living. And they drive it around going to the most immensely beautiful places, like parking right What were right you on doing when you were that age? Working. I was working like 18 hours a day in an advertising well, those agency. Those guys do work. They, they work a lot. They, they do work. They, they do intense periods of work, intense periods of vacation. Yeah. I did intense periods of work with like two weeks of vacation, of which I was only allowed to take one. We still do. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Oh, my God. But thank God we were able to break the cycle and have a son who knows how to take a vacation now and then. <laughs> did, did, should we tell people we're going to a dude ranch? No. 